All right. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Achel and Quince. And this is us sharing with you our true beast. Obviously, I'm not on an adventure. Echel's not here with me, so this video is going to be slightly different than most. However, I have done this before, but the video content is completely different. And I'm extremely excited to share with you, even though Echel was like reluctant to possibly share this because it seems like we might be gloating or puffing our chest out to say, look at us. From the bottom of my heart, I really do believe this is a secret that most people don't know about. And when I was able to do this, I was ecstatic and I didn't realize that this was an option for, well, until I heard about it. And what it is, is I'm giving you what I would call a mortgage hack. Before I get into it, by all means, I am not giving you financial advice. Talk to a financial advisor, talk to the bank. Everybody, before you think you can do these things or put money towards your house, your principal, and let me get into it. Okay, me and Achille purchased this property that we live on more than six years ago now. It's crazy to think that that has been this many years, but it has been. Uh, the second year we were in, we refinanced our property. At that time, pre-pandemic, prices and interest rates, uh, or interest rates themselves, were dropping. And we were able to take advantage of that, that time, and we locked in an even better rate than when we purchased. Trying to keep it fairly simple, and all we wanted was to reduce our monthly fixed expenses. Mostly for all of us out there, 90% of us, I believe, at least 50% of our expenses for the month are probably wrapped up within a mortgage or your rent. So if you can reduce those, highly recommend trying to do that. I would also recommend you figure out what is your monthly fixed expenses and go from there. We had, I think, something around a four plus something interest rate when we first bought the house. Then we locked in a 3.25. It dropped our mortgage by at least, I think, $500 at that time. So we were extremely happy with that. A year later, rates dropped again. So I tried once again, middle of pandemic. If you heard my story before, um, I was laid off. I was in the middle of actually working at a new company, but I wasn't full-time employee. I was freelance. I didn't realize when I started the process to do the refinancing that I didn't qualify because you had to be a full-time employee and you couldn't be freelance. That sucked and it didn't go through. So we didn't get lower than we were currently at. Funny enough, through that situation, our agent that was trying to do the new refinancing with us basically told us, hey, Quince, I know that you have money that you want to put down to lock in a lower rate and get your mortgage even lower. Here is something that I suggest you talk with your bank about because banks do these things. They have different requirements. I said to, you, I said to the guy, like, why didn't I know about this before? Well, a lot of people don't share this information because they don't make any money on these transactions so the the agent doesn't make he doesn't make any money and the bank possibly loses they do lose money over time um, so that's why they don't share this with anybody they don't make it particularly that easy even though it is easy I know those are conflicting so it's called a mortgage recasting this is the hack a mortgage recasting is not a refinancing so the are quite a bit different. A refinance, obviously there's so many things you can do with that. You can take money out of your house. You can re you're trying to reduce your interest rate. You're trying to change the terms. So a mortgage recasting is not changing any of the terms. Basically what you're asking them to do is to recalibrate your existing principal for the amount of time that you've been paying on it and it spits out a, hopefully, if you reduced your principal with over time, your rate stays the same. It'll spit out a lower monthly payment. Um, and you're like, hey, why doesn't this happen generally? Like, whatever. Doesn't that happen? No. When you purchase your home, 
of your mortgage payment in the first 15 years of that, your principal's not changing that much. So that's the main point. So here's, here's the things and the requirements that you possibly need. And every bank is different. So you got to ask your bank that owns your, your loan, that gives you your mortgage, what the requirements are. And I do know that there's like three of them that I had to qualify for. There was 10 and I don't remember all of them. Um, the first one is before you ask for a mortgage re recasting, you actually already had to have paid a certain amount or a large lump sum towards your principal had to have been done within a certain time period. And the minimum I think is 20,000 for some, um, going all the way up to the minimum of $50,000. And then you can go from there of how much you're putting down. You know, fortunately for me and my wife at the time we had, you know, during selling and getting out of my old job and getting into a new job, I was with some money that I needed to put down into an investment or something and I put partially some of that into the principal on our house. So I put $150,000 towards our principal. So I knew that that money was going out and I possibly wouldn't get the mortgage recasting completed and I was okay with that as long as I knew I was paying the house down as soon as possible, whatever, I was gonna just roll with it. And you have to be willing to do that. The second criteria in those requirements was you have to have a full-time job so or proving within the last couple of years if you're freelance that you have steady, consistent income. That's number two. Number three, I believe you can't have any bad debt. Um, and I do believe number four, if I can remember fourth one out of the 10, four was definitely you can't have any late payment history on your payments of your mortgage. You know, I was, I was qualifying, qualifying for a lot of those um, that I knew when I requested this, I was 95% chance they would do it for me. One of the weird things they ask you to do, at least the bank that I went through, is I had to write a, a handwritten letter, which is super odd at this time in AI and technology. Anyways, it kind of states these things. Um, so it's called a mortgage recasting or through the bank. It's a principal curtrailment. I think I'm saying that right. Um, you state the bank's name. You put the, the loan number, you know, basically who what this loan is and then your address, and then I, whoever your name is, is requesting the bank to do a recasting on loan number, whatever that is, and a draft modification. Then they wanted me to put down a principal payment towards the loan was made on that date that I sent the loan or the, the money to uh, the payment, the amount, and, and again, stating what that amount went to on what loan and then my signature and then I mailed it off and then you basically don't hear back for a couple weeks and then they let you kind of know in an email because I was talking to one of the bank members before requesting hey is this going through are they looking at it what's going on and they're you know periodically tell me they're still looking at it whatever long story short when I did get approved it reduced my payment by a thousand dollars on my mortgage um, so you can look at it a few ways and let me kind of once again tell you what the key takeaways here on a mortgage recasting to help you guys. A mortgage recasting lets you reduce your conventional loan repayments by making a large lump sum contribution towards your principal. So that's basically what it is. And then the other takeaway would be a mortgage recasting results in a, sim a smaller monthly payments on the same schedule. So again, if you've paid on the last five years of a 30 year loan, you still have 25 years. You don't have 30, you don't have less. It doesn't change the amount of time. And it, if you were on a bi-weekly or a monthly, it's all the same, nothing changes. Um, a recasting, the third takeaway, a recasting is a simpler and cheaper than refinancing, but it does not alter or change your interest rate or shorten your term loan. So exactly what I said. All you're asking the bank to do is to recalibrate your current principal on your loan and what would that be with the same amount of time that you've already been paying on, what is that now today? So if you're gonna put a large lump sum down and, and what helps is if you pay multiple years on your loan so your principal is you know, down from previously when you first bought it, they're gonna calibrate all that together with the new large lump sum and spit out what you should be paying. 
and they don't do that if you put a large sum of money down on your on your house on towards your principal they're going to continue taking those next 15 years of that high interest at, out because it didn't re, they didn't recalibrate it so it, you can keep putting large lump sums towards your your principal which people do so they hopefully pay their house off within a shorter amount of time and if you can do that and stay with it great for you if you are doing a, a over a 20 or fifty thousand dollars towards your principal you want to ask them to recalibrate or or do a mortgage recasting they don't do it every time you put a large lump sum down so there's another thing to think about the bank that owns our loan said they will only do it twice within the time of owning our loan i only have one more time i can ask them to recalibrate or recast our loan so i'm gonna wait until i can save up and put you know, not, you know, at least the minimum down, I think that will help you. Especially right now when interest rates don't look like they're going down, they're only going up. So if you get locked into a home, you're frustrated with the mortgage you're paying, but you still make good money and you have money on the side, I would highly recommend thinking about doing and investigating in on getting a mortgage recast or having your bank, whoever holds the loan, do a, a recasting for you. So with that said guys, hopefully this is the shortest, most helpful video that I've been able to do. If you guys like this type of content, I have some other life hacks that I'd love to share with anybody. But first, smash that like button if you did. Leave some comments below if you want to see more stuff like this. But however, next week I will be getting the camper back. So I'm going to be really looking forward to sharing you the updates. And I'm off to a new adventure with my family. So take care. Thanks again.